Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode at Did Somebody Say Retro. In today's episode we're going to be going through some of the games room updates that I've put together in the last week or two. And before we start I just want to give one big shout out to Jason Bradbury. Jason covered my games room for the second time on his Twitch show so if you haven't subscribed to him already then please go ahead and do that. So I just want to say thanks mate, really appreciate it and I'm, I'm really grateful that you love my collection. So let's just go over some of these upgrades. So the first one, the most important one, is the fact that I finally, finally got a new laptop. So I can finally say goodbye and adios to this horrible piece of technology. I've hated every minute that I've had this. Uh, it's awful. So bye-bye Lenovo and hello Acer. So this bad boy is an absolute beauty and I could read out a list of all of the specs of it and pretend that I know what I'm talking about, but I don't. So I'm just going to be honest, anything you want to know about consoles that are like 20, 30 years old, come to me, I'm your man. But when it comes to new tech, I have no idea what these things mean. There's a couple of things that I do know, so like, I don't know, RAM is like speed, and then you've got your storage, uh, the processor and all that sort of stuff, graphics card, no idea. But one of the main things and the selling point for me is that it's an IPS screen, and if you haven't seen me fit an IPS screen in a Game Boy Color, then I'll put a link in the description so you can go and check that out. But IPS screens are super duper quality and the you can you can angle them at pretty much any angle and you can see the screen perfectly well. And the reason why I got this is, as you know, that laptop's awful, but it's awful because I couldn't record gameplay footage and have a microphone and a webcam at the same time. So I was having to do face cam footage on my phone and then I could just about put in the Blue Yeti microphone into the laptop and record the, the audio from my voice and the gameplay footage at the same time, but it's still really slow and clunky and it just wasn't working. So I needed a laptop that could do everything. One that can I can put the microphone in, I can put the webcam in, and I can put the Elgato Game Capture HD in and put everything seamlessly together so I can give you guys some quality gameplay footage. Also, it means that I can start editing on the laptop as well, because at the minute I edit on my iPad, and although the iPad is, is really good for doing that, the app that I use has started playing up. So you'll have noticed in the Streets of Rage 4 video and my last video, Rocket League, the audio in the outro is overlapping each other. So it's, it's not good, and I had a choice there whether to just not upload it or just upload it. So I uploaded it and just let you guys know that I was going to get a laptop soon, and here it is. And I'm just going to go and move this now because I know as well as you do that I'm going to knock that off in a minute. And there's just one more upgrade that I wanted to show you. And it might just be the most British thing you've ever seen in your life. And this is it. This in here is a tea trolley. And yes, you heard that right. A trolley that you wheel around just specifically made so that you can carry tea on it. But it's not what you think. I haven't got it to carry around tea. Even though I love a cup of tea, I don't need a tea trolley. I've got it because it's going to work for me in the games room as my brand new recording station. And the reason for this is because when I normally record in the games room, if I'm not recording in the living room, I have to set up a table right in front of the settee and right in front of the TV. So I use the table that I use for modding. Now that table is quite deep. So when I put it in the middle of the room, it's literally against my chin and against the TV at the same time. And it's just really difficult to manoeuvre around. It's it's difficult to just, you know, set everything down, set all the modding stuff down, put it all away, and then set it all back up here. It's just It just takes too long. So literally yesterday, I came up with an idea of getting some sort of foldable or wheelable shelving unit that I can easily store away in the games room that's going to still give me some space, but I can put all of my equipment on there when I record. So the reason why I wanted it to be wheeled is for two reasons. One is so that I can easily put it in front of the console so that I can get the audio and video cables for each console and bring it forward into all the technology that's in my recording station. So, you know, an upscaler. So I need to be able to put it straight in front of there and plug all of that in easily. And the second reason is so that when I'm done recording, I can easily just wheel it out of the way, put it in the corner of the room, and then I can take really nice photos for you with my consoles and the CRT. And most importantly, I can play on my collection whenever I like. So without further delay, I'm going to go ahead and move a few things around the games room, give myself some space. I'm going to put this tea trolley together. Then I'm going to set the whole recording station up, show you guys, have a little chat with you, see what it looks like at the end. And that's pretty much it. So let's see how I got on.
So now that that's done, it was pretty easy actually, pretty straightforward. Just going to get the TV now, the laptop, the webcam, the Game Capture HD. Going to just put it all together, set it up, and then we'll have a look what it looks like. So although you can see the setup from over there, let's have a closer look. So then, what do you guys think? So much easier now, isn't it? Whenever I want to record now, I can just come into the games room, wheel it in front of me, get it plugged in, and then off we go. So I really like doing these kinds of videos. I like talking about my collection, I like talking about my technology, and I like talking about how I set things up. And you guys obviously do as well, because the video with the games room tour, that was a, that was a really big success. And like I said at the start, Jason Bradbury shared it on his Twitch show again. So I was really, really happy with that. So just want to say thanks to you guys for coming and watching that video, commenting, liking. It really means a lot to me. So if there's anything else that you'd like to see, I'm sure there's a ton of things in here that you haven't seen yet. If you want to see a particular thing or a particular theme of video that's set in the games room and even gameplay, just drop it in the comments box below and I'd love to have a chat with you and see what you think and get some videos done for you. You know what I forgot to do? Forgot to put my stuff back on there, didn't I? Bear with me. That's better. Right then, back to it. So, the gameplay footage, that's also going to get way crisper and cleaner. I've downloaded OBS, so I've started using that. And also, I've downloaded a couple of free pieces of software, which are video editors for Windows 10. So, just bear with me. I'm just going to get my head around how they work. And then, very soon, I'm going to be starting to upload content using those pieces of software. So that's pretty much it from me today. I really enjoy doing these kinds of videos, like I said, so please drop any comments that you've got down below and we'll have a little chat. And as always, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you really want to help me out, just click that bell icon to receive all notifications. So stay safe, everybody, and I'll see you next week for another video.